Over the past months, I've met with several people who are involved in global aid programs or campaigning for Australia to, live, to lift its aid commitment. Most of these people represented Christian faith organisations. They all had the same message. Australia could and should do more to reduce global poverty, with a particular emphasis on poverty throughout our Pacific neighbours. Yet Australian aid is declining. Since 2013, $11.8 billion has been cut. For the 2018-2019 year, Australian aid spending was just $4.16 billion, or just 0.22 per cent of gross national income. It is projected to fall to 0.19 per cent. This ranks Australia as 19th of the 29 nations that give aid and will be the lowest level of aid as a share of GNI since data was first published in 1961 for Australia. Fighting global poverty is not only the right thing to do, but it is in the national interest, as again so many people have pointed out. And I heard the remarks of the member for McNamara in respect to the fact that if we don't provide aid, then quite often other countries will, and that will in turn cause further problems for us in years to come. Providing aid not only creates stability in those countries, but it opens up trade opportunities, it creates goodwill between us, and it improves our own national security. Again, a point that has been stressed time and again by speakers on this side of the House. Over the years, international aid has improved the lives of millions of people, and again, that is acknowledged. However, there is still a huge need out there. Millions still suffer, often entrapped in slavery or burdened by disability in places with no social support and extreme poverty. Madam Deputy Speaker, 68.5 million people have now been displaced from their homelands, and of those, 85 per cent of them are living in developing countries where the host nation itself needs help. And yet, for all that, those host nations are in turn helping others who, need, who are in perhaps greater need than themselves. In my meeting with two separate MICA delegations last year, I was pre presented with five objectives that Australia should pursue in helping our Pacific neighbours. And I want to read out those five objectives. Firstly, ensure the new aid policy empowers local communities in the Pacific to lead their own inclusive and sustainable development. Secondly, ensure the new aid policy recognises the need of most vulnerable members of our Pacific family, particularly women and children. Thirdly, work with the Australian Church and Christian Development Agencies to leverage and amplify the strength of the Pacific Church as a key partner for human development. Fourthly, recognise the impact of climate change in the Pacific, including the, risk, the increasing risk and impact of natural disasters. And fifthly, ensure the Pacific step up is not at the cost of stepping down elsewhere in the world. Madam Deputy Speaker, I believe that those five objectives are all quite reasonable and things that this uh, country could commit to. I am also concerned that part of the aid that is now being directed to the Pacific comes at the expense of other nations that in past years have been assisted by this country. So we are not um, on, we, we might be stepping up our aid in the Pacific area, but we're doing that at the expense of other vulnerable nations. 